What's up guys, this is Josh from Keep It Techie and today I wanted to do a quick video showing you guys a Linux Task Manager. So most people are familiar with Windows Task Manager. You know how you can go down to the uh, the bar at the bottom right click and just go to task manager and it'll pull up you know the various applications that are open you could kill uh, programs that are open you can look at your uh, processor performance your memory pr performance and uh, a few other things you can you can see in task manager in Windows well in Linux they have something similar and the application I want to show you is HTOP now, HTOP has been around for a while. It's included in most distributions, so you should have it once you install Linux for the first time. It is kind of transitioned to a default application that's included in most distributions. So let's get to the website. I want to read about it a little bit and show you guys it right fast. So this is the Wikipedia page, uh, and I wanted to read this because it had a little bit more information than their actual website, but I'm still show you guys the, the website of the developer that actually created HTOP. So HTOP is an interactive system monitor, process viewer, and process manager. It is designed as an alternative to, to the Unix program TOP. Yeah, and actually, that's where this pro program came from. Top is is very old. It's an old um, application that kind of gives you more, I mean, information on the actual system. Well, HTOP looks a whole lot better, uh, in my opinion. So it just makes it look a little bit more cleaner. So that's why I want to show you HTOP. Um, it shows a... It shows a frequently updated list of the pro processes running on a computer, normally ordered by the amount of CPU usage. Unlike Top, HTOP provides a full listing list of processes running instead of Top uh, resource consuming processes. Uh, HTOP uses color and give visual information about processor swap and memory status. Uh, HTOP can also display the processes as a tree. So I'll show you guys that. Let me go to the actual, I, I have the Orch repository open. Um, as you can see, it's in the regular uh, package repository. So, and it should be installed by default uh, on like Manjaro or uh, Interagos. Uh, it should be installed by default, but if not, you can install it. And to be honest, I'm not 100% sure if it's included in Ubuntu, but if not, I'm pretty sure it's in the main repository for Ubuntu as well. So, um, so this is their actual website for the person that actually created it. Um, I'm not going to read anything about it, but it's just, this is the website you can go to and check it out. I'll put a link down in the description of the video. Uh, these are a couple screenshots, so I'll open it up and, and show you guys, uh, what it looks like on a live system. So let's get started on that. Okay, so I have up Manjaro uh, with the XFCE desktop, and I just want to show you guys how to actually use HTOP. And also, I'm going to show you that TOP is actually still installed on all Linux distribution. So if you click TOP, it'll bring it up. And this is basically uh, the older version of HTOP. Uh, so as you can see, it's got the process ID, user, um, and just some more information, CPU percentage, uh, memory usage. So this same thing is, is, uh, top. I mean, H top, but H top is a lot more cleaner. So in order to stop it, you just hit Q. That will actually quit the application. So let's clear this. And now let's run H top. Okay. So as you can see, this thing is a whole lot cleaner. Let's zoom in a little more. That way you guys can see a little better. Cause I know some of these uh some of these numbers are gray and they kind of blend in with the background a little bit too much. So you can barely see them. That's why I wanted to zoom in. But as you can see, it kind of breaks it out uh a little better. Uh for this virtual machine, I have two processors. 
Uh, and this, you know, gives you a live view of the percentage that's being used of the processor. Similar to, you know, task manager in Windows, it'll have, you know, the information with the little line going up and down based on the processor. Well, this breaks it all out um, by the amount of cores that you have. Um, and then this is your memory usage. So this gives you a great idea of uh, how much memory is being used by the actual desktop environment. Uh, so it's 474 megabytes out of the two gigabytes that I installed for this uh, system. And then swap, I didn't give it any swap. That's why it's at zero. So uh, there is the tasks that are running on the system. Uh, this is the load average. So it's giving a load uh, average of the system. This is the uptime. So this is the time, uh, how long the system has actually been booted up. Okay. So moving right along, this is the actual, uh, all the columns. These are the headers, uh, for it. And these are all the processes that are actually running on the system. So, uh, right here is the process ID. So that'll be the ID that you can use to actually kill an application. There has, they have a nice kill feature, uh, right here. So if you select uh, a process and just hit kill that'll kill that process for you so just like in windows you can select the application and then hit in task same thing it'll kill the process um and then you can sort by all these different headers like this is the process id like i said the user that's actually using that using that process or that process is running under um then there's the CPU percentage and these will constantly change based on, you know, the CPU usage of whatever application it is. Just like in Windows under the task manager, you can see the application is moving around based on the amount of CPU usage. Uh, and that's what it's selected on right now. You can go through all these and filter based on that or not filter, but sort based on that just by clicking the header. Like if we want to look at what's using the most memory then that'll give you an idea of what's using the most memory percentage and then put it back on CPU. Um, then the time, the actual, um, process has been running. So cool. And this is the actual command. You can do that, you know, use that to actually look at the commands by sorting that out. But I like to, I tend to always keep it on CPU percentage. Uh, that way I can see what's actually, you know, eating up CPU usage. And then down here is the rest of the menu for it. Um, there is a help. You can click on that. That'll actually bring up the, uh, the help information, uh, which is, is similar to, you know, a man page. You can go into the man page and this will actually give you all the information. Uh, like all these shortcuts and the ways to actually navigate around in HTOP. So that's pretty cool. Uh, setup, this will go in. You can uh, change stuff. You can change the colors. Uh, like that's the default. They have, uh, you know, different types of uh, color profiles you can set up on here. Uh, default is cool for me. Uh, there's the Black Knight, you know, Broken Gray. Uh, I just normally use the default. You can actually modify the columns by simply clicking in them. So if you, if it's certain things you don't want to see in there or you want to add something, uh, that's not in there, then you can, you know, just simply click on it. You can move it around and you can actually remove it and then, you know, done. And also these are the meters. You can, uh, modify these as well. If you want to change it up. And so that's all I want to show you under there. Um, and then here is the actual search. So let's say you want to look at, or you want to look for XFCE or something. It should filter out all XFCE or it'll go to anything XFCE. Uh, so let's cancel that. And then also you can filter. Uh, so if we go in here and type, uh, let's say, um, I don't know, XFCE, XFCE, that will pull up all the, 
all the processes that are running on the XFCE or have XFCE in the name. Um, for instance, like if you have Firefox open, if you search or filter Firefox, then it'll show all the Firefox. Um, you know, I don't have any of those applications open, but that's basically what it'll do. Um, for instance, let me show you another one. Uh, let's try VBox because I know the VBox client is there. So that'll show you all the, the VBox uh, processes running on system. So it's pretty cool. Uh, so we can clear that and you get exit. Um, now here is a pretty cool part of it. Uh, you can turn on the tree option and it's not really an option. You're just putting it in a tree format. So therefore it'll take the main process and put all the processes that are underneath it, that are running underneath that. For instance, just looking at this, uh, this XFCE terminal, uh, I mean, you all know we have HTOP open, but it's running on Bash, and then this is HTOP. So that's the process for that. So if you need to, you know, kind of narrow down something that you're specifically looking to looking for, then this is an easy way of using uh, or an easy way of finding things by using tree. And right here, you can collapse it. So let's say you want to collapse something. You get the collapse button. It'll collapse that for you. And then also, if you want to, you can just double click here. Double click there. Well, it's actually a click one time, but you have to select it first. So if you click and then click again, it'll it'll uh, collapse it. So that's the way to collapse things in the tree. And the way to get out of the tree, you just hit sort it uh, and that'll take it back sorted. So now the next thing I want to show you guys is just sort by. So you can actually hit sort by and you can specify where you want it to be sorted, even though you can just select PID and it'll sort it by PID. Um, but if you hit PID now, it'll basically sort it by that, which you can simply do this, you know, and it'll sort it or, you know, select whatever one you want and that'll sort it for you. But they just put that option in there for you so you can go in and actually sort it by that. Now, I'm going to actually skip this nice, but I want to show you guys kill. Uh, this is where you can actually kill a process. And I think I talked about this a little earlier, but you can select a process like whatever this is or find whatever process you're looking for. Select it and then just hit kill and that'll actually kill the process. Now, if you run into a situation where you can't kill it this way, then there or other options to kill it. You just need that uh, process ID in order to kill it. Uh, so just write that down or, or memorize it right fast. And then you can open up another terminal and the command for that is kill uh, space nine and then the process ID and it'll force kill uh, actual process. So, and simply this is the quit. So that's all I wanted to show you guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. And of course, keep it techie.